Hi guys, it's Nika. We're here with the Nerd Charming book review. Today we are going to go over the Skate Maker book by Steve Seifert. And I'm going to read you guys on this page, which is the description for his book in his words. I'll read you the short description. And then I have my review of the book. So, here we go. The Skate Maker follows Matthew Namely, who is propelled into a whole new world following a few tragic events. After meeting a strange and beautiful girl, he learns the art of dreamscaping. Matthew will Matthew will come to know of the Sandman who is after a special element called Magnium. Neck deep in skinwalkers, sleepwalkers, zombie, night terrors, and more, Matthew must risk his life to save the Magnium. I will put the ex extended description in my description of his words. Also, the book is still available until the end of May, so I'll put the link up for that. Um... And now, my review. My review, I love the book. I absolutely loved it. It pulled you in and it was like, you're mine, you're not leaving, you're staying here and we're gonna go through this together. So, Matthew Namely's story is an interesting one. After having his life jerked in one direction, after having his life one way and then jerked in another direction because of some tragic events, he has to learn the art of dreamscaping. And then dreamscaping is your dreams. So with this one, if you when you dreamscape, you're sitting there in the classroom like this. You're just perfect posture, sitting there, eyes forward, like a perfect student. And it's pretty awesome the way he describes it all. And in the dream world, you can be you're the perfect image of yourself. So if you have braces, you don't have them in there. You have straight teeth. If you have glasses, you don't need them in there. If you can't walk in the real world, in the dream world, you can. So, I mean, whatever hinders you on the reality side in this book, once you cross over through the dreamscape, it's no longer there. Matthew has run-ins with the Sandman, zombies, sleepwalkers, uh, skinwalkers, and many more nightmares, which in this story are actual mares. That's where they come from. That's how they got their origin was their actual mares, their horses. So, they have that. Um, with his experiences... Like any good book, you have romance, you have the tough decision whether or not I should do this to help somebody or not. You have conflict, you have fighting, you have family, and it's all rolled into one. It's a great book. I mean, it's one, it's a put, it's one that was put on the shelf and I'll read it again. Um, but with the Sandman and his zombies, the Sandman wants the magne magnum I'm, that's how I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it's magnum it's probably I pronounced something else I'm I'm sorry but the sandman wants the magnum he wants it because he is stuck inside of a prison that he can't get out of well well he can get out of he no he can't get out he's actually stuck inside that prison he has someone else that can get out or uh, has gotten out and is helping him trying to gather all the magnum that he can so that he has all the power. The magnum was broken up into separate things and given to separate people so that it could be changed, or not changed, but so you don't have all that power in one spot. So if it was like in real life, it would be this person's got one. We're going to skip the next five people and it's on to get to the sixth person or seventh person because the first person got it and the seventh person's got it. And those two people will more than likely never meet. So that way we don't have the chance of this bad guy being able to come in and be like, they're all grouped together. So it makes it harder for the same man to try to get it and find it. But, I mean, he knows who has it. But with his limited 
resources of getting it, he can't do it. But Matthew and his group of friends that he has made after his father's untimely problems is on the hunt to find the Magnum and have it so that he may become the temporary um, keeper of the Magnum. His father is the keeper of the Magnum. I mean, that is his assigned role and once you read the story you'll understand what I'm saying, but his father is the keeper of the Magnum and so with all that his father has to his father has gotten himself into a little bit of trouble and so with a tragic turn of events all this flips Matthew's life upside down he goes from living in California to moving to the middle of the United States I can't remember right now where that's at but he goes he switches so much that he can't help it but through his tragic events he finds out what happened when he goes to the dreamscape world and so when, while he's there he learns all the stuff that he needs in order to become the escape maker to become the best dreamscaper that he can be because it's in his blood he's a new version of the dreamscaper he's not a skinwalker which is the Indians in the story which are the originals, they have the most power, they can easily cross over their own bodies from the reality to the dream world and not have that much of an issue with it. But with Matthew and his friends, most of his friends, they can't do that. They have to have help crossing their physical bodies from real world to dream world and in this story that they ha there's an event where they have to to be able to be safe, they have to cross from the real world to the dream world. And Matthew, being the hard-headed boy that he is, he doesn't want to listen to the rules that are set. So I give Skate Makers a 5 out of 5 stars this time around. We will continue the Nerd Charming book review next time. I'm not sure which book that will be. I've got two, I think, that I've read. But we will visit this again. So 5 out of 5 stars for Skate Makers by Steve Seifert. And the book is still available for free until the end of May. I will link to the des in the description the link in order for you guys to obtain a copy of Skate Makers. Hope you enjoy. Also guys, if you would, if you do read the book, if you guys do make a video book review then if you will post a video response in the, the comment section. If you guys want to make a video response of what you thought of the book please do so. I would love to see those if you guys want to leave comments about the book or anything please do so and also please don't forget to subscribe if you like this if you didn't then tell me and then I'll see what I can do about fixing it because don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to be awesome this is this is Nerd Charming's book review and we'll see you next time thanks guys